Welcome to a Hidden Cup Showcase, where we will discuss pro players and their reputations. Age of Empires 2 is a ridiculously complex game with a very diverse pro scene. And since player identities are hidden in Hidden Cup 3, this video will give you some insight so you can guess who the players are. This player is known for his excellent preparation and unique strategies. Whether it's making Militia at 10 population to deny enemy food in a team game final, or setting the Force Nothing world record by chopping all the trees with a crazy mod, Tato sees the game differently than most pros do. So if you see an out-of-the-box strategy in Hidden Cup 3, has to be Tato, man. Tato confirmed. Tato is incredibly good with maps involving water. So Hidden Cup 3 could really be his chance to shine. Out of all 11 maps in this tournament, 6 of them involve water in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's cross with water in the corners, or islands with water everywhere. Knighty, can I say something? You are such a noob, man. Why did you build those rings there? You're supposed to build them on the enemy island. All right, so if someone is insulting me and bringing up my dark and embarrassing past, Tato confirmed. If someone is making demos and more demos and more demos, Tato confirmed, man. This guy just breathes water naps, which leads me to some interesting data from previous Hidden Cups. Tato researched Wheelbarrow significantly later than most in Hidden Cup 1 and 2. On average, the time of this research was 24 minutes and 15 seconds. Compare this to pros like MBL and Yo, who averaged under 18 minutes, this is largely due to the fact he prioritizes water more frequently than he does land. Another fun fact is Tato was extremely good at spending his resources throughout all of his games. On average, he was floating 774 resources in total per match, and his game duration averaged out to 40 minutes. This shows that he's extremely efficient with the resources he brings in throughout his games. And lastly, Tato has never been one to play the mind games with his color choice. Virtually every game he played, he chose the color blue or the player one color. That's just one more thing to look for throughout Hidden Cup 3.